Hello, I'm Zaki Rashid with this week's Matters of Opinion. A state of Ohio legislative committee unanimously approved a bill that would ban texting for drivers in the state of Ohio. Under the bill, a violation for texting would be a minor misdemeanor punishable by a fine of up to $150. The measure would allow for motors to be stopped for texting alone. It also sets up a six-month grace period during which only warnings could be issued. Now, if it becomes law, Ohio would join 30 states and the District of Columbia in banning texting for all drivers. Now, I support and favor this law, although I can see where it would be difficult to enforce. How can an officer tell if a driver is putting in a phone number to call or if he's texting? Have you ever just set at a stoplight and counted the number of drivers who are talking on the phone? Now imagine how many of them are taking their eyes off the road to text and how many of them are inexperienced drivers. Statistics show that texting is more dangerous than talking on the phone and even drunk driving, but most people think that texting while driving isn't as dangerous. Laws are coming up faster than a police cruiser in the rearview mirror to stop texting behind the wheel, and that's a good thing. We can't sit by idly while careless drivers continue to cause car accidents because they just won't put down their phones. Studies have shown that texting on the phone while driving can be about the equivalent of driving legally drunk. People often underestimate how much brain power they need to control a moving vehicle. Contrary to popular belief, the number of adults texting while driving is larger than the number of teenagers texting while driving, according to a survey done in May of 2010 by the Pew Research Center. In 2009 alone, almost 5,500 people were killed and almost 45,000 people were injured in car crashes involving distracted driving, according to statistics compiled by the National Highway Traffic and Safety Administration. Distracted driving consists greatly of cell phone use, texting while driving, as well as other forms of activity such as eating, talking with passengers, and can you believe it or not, daydreaming. Now, I'm not entirely convinced that legislative mandates banning cell phone use or texting while driving are the best way to go because the enforcement of such laws are difficult, but I do know something has to be done and fast because the fatalities are rising and the crashes simply won't stop. Well, that's my opinion. What's yours? Email me at zrashid at villagetv.org. You can view this segment again on YouTube by entering Z.A. Rashid in the search box, and we're now on Facebook. I'm Zaki Rashid with Matters of Opinion.